man-made and natural features so in this class we will be learning about different man-made feature and natural feature so topo sheet shows um, various types of um, man-made feature and natural features in a topo map and then they are explained with the help of conventional sign and symbols and then control line there are some pictorial diagram and we have to identify those now let's look at that natural features what are the different natural features they have uh, rivers stream broken ground island sand features and depression let's look at those first is that rivers when in a topo these uh, rivers means when they are having river bank or two parallel line for a river so this is a river okay so this is river streams these are single thin line now look at this portion here this stream is this is a black this is a non perennial stream even the river is also non perennial so that is stream broken ground which has been formed in this portion even in this areas also so what is broken ground this is in areas where we have alternate the wet and dry period so the top layer gets removed and this is a kind of bad land so this broken ground don't write bad land you must write the name of the symbol the name of the symbol is broken ground so you have to write broken ground Another feature is that island. In this portion, we can see here to island. There is one more island when river cannot carry the loads they have. That means sand, gravel, and stones, and they deposit on the river bed. So this kind of island forms. So you can write river island. Now let's look at some of the sand features. What are those sand features? One is depression. Depression is this depression hollow. So when winds uh, they remove the sand in a desert area or arid area they form a depression that is called depression hollow so depression another one we can look at if you look at those brown brown color things so these are all uh, sand dunes so sand dunes is another this is natural feature so you can write sand dunes so these are very common in um, this desert area easily you can find it now let's look at some more physical features like hills, park, cliff shown by contour and their height. Okay, so what is a hill? Here in this portion we can look at this is one hill which is uh, here on the top. It is, we can see that it is 364 meter height. Please remember, don't write mountain if it is not above 800 meter. In some uh, areas they consider 600 meter as mountain but preferably it is 800 meter and above then we consider it as mountain so you can write hills for sure then this is this extended part this extended part this is a spa so you can say yes this is a spa you can write there now in this portion a wonderful ridge has formed so one two and three peak so if you'll see like this if you'll take their cross section you will find that they have multiple peaks so it is a ridge you can write ridges here here is another conical hill we can see here is a conical hill if those are circular in shape you can write conical otherwise you can write hill and cliff means when we will find in a place if those um, control lines are very closely spaced and they are actually in one line they have joined in one line so that is a sudden fall and that's a cliff so if some formation is there like that you can write cliff so these are different natural features let's look at some man-made features in man-made features in this area we can see those red huts here so these are permanent settlement permanent hut so this is one permanent hut. causeway causeway is here one causeway another causeway is here causeway is a elevated land that means during rainy season uh, people have difficulty crossing that river so there they elevate elevate that land 
So this is a causeway. This red color lines here, this is a metal road. Okay, this is a metal road. So two continuous parallel red color line, that is a metal road. By chance, if you have like two dash parallel dash line like this, this is an unmetal road. That is also a man-made feature. This thin red line, these are cut track. So you can write cut track. This, if those are thin dash line, single dash line, so those are pack track. That is also a man-made feature. There are number of well. So we can see here is a lined well. Here is an unlined well. So these wells are all man-made feature. So you can write man-made feature for all this. Let's look at some more man-made feature. One is we can see here, this is police chalky. So then the causeway, already we have learned about the causeway. Post and telegraph office, another man-made feature. Duck bungalow, another uh, man-made feature. Now look at this, this is duck bungalow, but PWD written there. So all duck bungalows are not owned by public work department. Some duck bungalows are owned by or under the department of forest and other government department. So this is another man-made feature. Here is a survey tree, 271. So survey tree, you know what survey tree is. That is a tree where on the trunk they write a number. Suppose for this tree on the trunk you will find a plate written 271. This is a kind of permanent nature um, thing. So uh, you cannot cut these trees. So that's a survey tree is another man-made feature. Here is dispensary where people go uh, for their checkup and any health related issues. That is another man-made feature. So if you get any of those, you can write under man-made feature. Another important interesting thing is that uh, this is telephone line. So telephone line is another man-made feature. So all these you can write under man-made feature.